In this video, we want to have a look at an existing supplier and we want to add our business unit to one of the sites of the supplier. So we're going to use our employee that we have created and also the employee would already be assigned certain roles. One of the roles that allows the employee to be able to access the supplier details is the supplier administrator and the employee would also have been a procurement agent. So Bill Payers is our employee so I'm just going to sign in as Bill. So enter username and password and click on the sign in button and this will bring you to the springboard. So I'm going to go to procurement and then I'll select suppliers. So next I'm going to search for my supplier. Supplier that I want to review is called Lee Supplies. So let me just type in part of the name and you can see that Lee Supplies is displayed. My supplier called Lee, I can actually map this as a favorite. And there are certain information that I can see at a header level, which includes the business relationship, the name of the supplier, supplier number, organization type, creation date, source, and so on. And you have at the header level, you have additional information like uh, organization information, financial profile, and if there's any business classifications, there will be some information about that as well. So we can see that small business, liability insurance, we've got things like the expiration date and some other information about the business in the business classifications tab. All the information that is entered at a header level relates mainly to the supplier as a whole. So if I go to products and services, I can see the product and services categories that are assigned to the supplier. Tax information, allowed tax applicability, income tax, additional information, and also some information about payment. So the default payment method is electronic and the bank account. So under the addresses, you'll see there's quite a few addresses for my supplier. I'm going to use this site. So I'm going to use this address, Lee US1, for my Acme BU to have access to for transacting. So under sites, I need to add a site. So I'm clicking on click on edit. And I'm going to click on the plus sign to add my site. So the address name I'm going to use is my Lee US1. So that's my site. And all I want to do is, first of all, I'm going to save it so that that will give me access to be able to then enter additional information at the site level. So let's save. Now you can see that the other tabs are now enabled. So I can decide whether I want to use this it's selected as purchase anyway. I can I can come in and put in um, various defaults. So for example, I could set my communication method. I can set whether I want receipt acknowledgement, hold all new purchasing documents, freight, consigned inventory, self billing. So it's a lot of information I can enter concerning my purchasing defaults. Receiving as well, I can put in receiving defaults for my supplier, invoicing defaults as well, invoice currency, so I can specify certain defaults or even use defaults that are coming from the payables option. For example, tolerances, I can set up my quantity tolerance, amount tolerances at the supplier site level. Payments will allow me to enter the default payment method for the supplier and I can also specify the bank accounts 
and also um, select my client, sorry, my site assignment. So this is where I actually want to go. I want to actually enter my Acme business unit as the site. So let's create. And my client BU is going to be Acme business unit one. And that would default my build to be you. I can also specify my liability distribution, prepayment distribution, um, or even use a specific distribution set for this supplier. So that's basically what I want to do. Just for me to be able to transact, I need to have a site assignment. When I say transact, I create an invoice for the supplier. And if I wanted to change some of the defaults, I can go to invoicing and also enter some information in terms of invoice currency, match approval level. Um, I mean, just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to I'm going to just use US dollars as my default currency. Payment currency. Let's use US dollars as well. And if I wanted to, I can specify pay group for the supplier. And let's put in some invoice match option, um, match to PO, match approval level. So you can decide if you want a two-way match, three-way match. You specify your tolerance. I'm going to select percentage of quantity based. Amount ordered by 10%. So these are just defaults that we want to specify payment terms. I can say that I want this to be immediate. Schedule for payment immediate, immediately. Invoice terms, terms basis, do I want it to be based on my invoice date or my system date? So let me just use invoice date, pay date, when it's due. So again, this is just for demonstration purposes for us to see the defaults that we can have here. So I'm going to save, save and close. Click on OK and submit. So that's how to create my supplier and add in a site with access to the business units using my site assignment. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.